Welcome to part two of the walkthrough of the Point Street Live Publisher. Point Street Live Publisher is designed to be used in conjunction with one of the Point Street scoring applications to enable the playback of in-game and post-game video highlights through the online Game Live platform. The system allows leagues and teams to provide in-game and post-game highlights available for on-demand web streaming within literally minutes of the event taking place. In this demonstration, we'll show how video from a DVD can be scored by the Point Street Baseball Scoring application and have the scored events be automatically and manually uploaded to the Game Live platform. To start off, we'll go over to the Point Street Baseball Scoring application and we'll launch it. The new game screen will come up and we'll create a new game by clicking OK. The game information window will appear and we'll enter in a visitor in Toronto. And we'll enter in a home team, and uh, we'll pick Vancouver for this. So we'll click OK, and the scoring application will initialize itself, and alongside it, we'll launch the Point Street Live Publisher. So we'll go over, and we will enter in a uh, lineup. As we enter in the lineup, we notice that the Point Street Live Publisher initializes itself with the same game that we are currently scoring in the scoring application. So we'll just enter in a couple of people for the lineup over here. Um, that should be good enough. So normally when the live publisher initializes itself, it automatically switches to the live video window. But for this demonstration, we're going to pull the video off of the DVD and score the game while we're watching the DVD within the publisher. So to start off, we'll go over here and we'll click on the Import from DVD button. We'll launch the Import from DVD screen. We'll go over here and we'll double click on our DVD drive, which is E. And it will show the contents of the DVD. We'll see, the first thing is the VOTS folder. That's the folder we're looking for. We'll double click on it. And then this shows all the files that are on the DVD. We'll make things simple, we'll just go over here and click the All button with the plus sign. And now we'll transfer over all the video files off the DVD that we're interested in. So we'll go down here and we'll click Start Import. And the Point Street Live Publisher will go away and it will start pulling all the video files off the DVD onto the computer's hard drive. Now this is useful for a couple reasons. It means that we no longer have to use the DVD to score the game. And if we ever need the video files for anything else in the future, the video file will be on the computer's hard drive as opposed to having to go find the DVD. So typically a DVD takes between 5 and 10 minutes to import. So we'll wait for that and uh, as it gets closer to being completed, we'll continue with the walkthrough. Okay, so we're back to the part 2 of the walkthrough here and we see that the DVD import has completed, so we'll click OK to the message, and the import from DVD window will close, and the Point Street Live Publisher will automatically load the video up in the video from file window here. So we can drag the slider ahead a little bit to advance the video up to the uh, first batter. Uh, there's a couple ways to see video within the uh, video from file window. You can use the buttons just below the video window. Rewind, fast forward, play, back, forward. Or you use the hotkeys on the keyboard. One and two for one for rewind, two for fast forward, three for play, etc. So we'll just fast forward it here a little bit. Let's see the game's getting ready. Ready to go here. where the first batter is ready. You see the first batter coming into view now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click play and the video is going to begin to play and we are going to at the same time go back to the scoring application and start scoring the game based on the video that we're watching within the window right here. So click play over to the scoring application and get ready to score the game. Here we 
Javier with the first pitch. And it's a ball. So we'll mark the ball. And we notice that as we score the pitch, the event also comes in to the live publisher much the same way as it would as if we were recording the game live. So next pitch, we've got a foul ball. We'll mark the foul ball. A called strike. So much the same way as when we're doing things live, we can go down and we can select an event. We could review it if we want. Okay, we can adjust the start and end times. And we can manually publish the event if we choose. You know it's publishing now because there's the up green up arrow signifying that it's in the process of being uploaded. Now we go back to scoring the game here. Exactly the same as when we're scoring live events, there are certain events that are set to automatically upload. Now we've got a swinging strikeout, so we'll mark the strikeout, and we notice there's the green up arrow signifying that that event is automatically uploading in the background, will be done shortly. We can go back and continue scoring the game. batter. Catch. And looks like we're going to have a hit here. Um, we'll just wait till the event is finished before we score it. And it looks like he's going to be in there with a double, so we'll mark the double. And we notice again that the double is an automatic event, so it's going away in the background and automatically uploading that event and publishing it to the Game Live platform. So you can continue doing this, uh, scoring the whole game. Uh, one of the advantages of doing it off of the DVD and then pulling it onto the hard drive is that you can pause the video. Uh, if you need to do something else or fix something, you can. You don't have to do it in real time. You can fast forward in between breaks in the inning, so you can actually score the game uh, faster than, in, than it would be in real time. So there's, there's some flexibility uh, in terms of doing it uh, post-game off of a DVD. So we'll go down and let's check out these events that we've uploaded to the Game Live platform. Game 11-5-3-1. And here's the game, and we notice that, oh, there's some new video highlights. We'll check on that. And there's a foul ball, and a strike out. And if we turn to the field, and we notice a that... A seven straight game, including a heartbreak. That the double just came through as well, so let's watch the double that we uploaded. And we'll turn off the audio so that doesn't get in the way. And so there's the double that we just marked uh, a minute or two ago up on the web available. You can see that in the play-by-play -play for the Game Live platform, for any events in this inning that have a video file associated with them, we also have a play button and we can watch the videos or the highlights for those events. So going back to the scoring application in the Point Streak Live Publisher, you just continue playing the video and scoring the game as you normally would and certain events will automatically upload and others you can trigger manually and fast forward and rewind and seek and replay video as needed. So this concludes the part two of the walkthrough of the Point Streak Live Publisher.